What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Python tips and tricks tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to talk about F strings that I use quite often in my tutorials. And today I'm going to explain to you why I use them and what different ways there are in Python to format strings. So let us get right into it. So let us get started with the basics of string formatting here. And let's say we have two variables, for example, name, which is Mike in this case, and age, which is 25 in this case. And we have these values and they're not static like in this code here, but they use our input. So it's not age 25, but it's age input, enter your age, for example, and then we typecast this into an int or whatever. Uh, but let's say we have just the values that are user input or read out of a database or out of a file. They're not static. We don't know what they are. And what we want to do is we want to get these values and put them into a string. So for example, the message could be something like print, uh, hello, I am, or let's say my name is, and then we have the name of the person. And then we have, uh, and I am the age of the person years old. This is a very simple string. And there are many ways in Python to create such a string. So for example, uh, we could just end the string right here and end this string or start this string right here. And then in between, we can use the addition, the uh, arithmetic operator for adding and just add a new string. So for example, name, because uh, as you know, from the beginners tutorials, if you watch them, you can add strings, because strings are just lists or collections, sequences of characters. So if you add them together, you get a new sequence of characters. So the only thing that happens here is you add this list, or this sequence of characters to this sequence of characters to this sequence of characters. And here we can do the same thing with the age and the age of course is not a sequence of characters since it's an integer. So what we have to do is we have to just typecast it into a string and we would get the same result. So if I print this, uh, I get, hello, my name is Mike and I am 25 years old. Exactly what we wanted. We can change the values however we want and it's going to work for us. Um, however, this is not the most beautiful way to do this. Uh, of course it works, but you always have to use these addition operators and it's not, uh, it's a little bit tedious to constantly use these operators. So what we can also do here is we can um, go ahead and use another way of formatting, which is the percentage sign. We can go ahead and say, okay, uh, hello, my name is, and now I specify a placeholder for the name instead of using the addition operator and I can say percentage s because it's going to be a string and I am percentage d because it's going to be a number um, years old. And now when I have this, I have to pass a tuple, I use the percentage uh, percentage sign and pass a tuple here with the values name and age. And here, of course, I don't need to uh, typecast h because I specified that it's going to be a number. And you can see that the result is the exact same. We have hello, my name is Mike, and I am 25 years old. So this is also a way that works. But here we also uh, always have to specify uh, the data type. And this can also be tedious. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and do the same thing with general placeholders. So I can say just a placeholder using curly brackets here. So hello, my name is placeholder and I am placeholder years old. And then I can use a dot format function and pass the values here name age. Now, this is definitely the best approach for me personally that uh, out of those three. But here we also have the problem that if you have many placeholders in a long string, you have to think about okay, which one came first, and then all the placeholders are at the end, you cannot write them as you're writing them. So you, you cannot just go ahead and write hello, my name is name inside of, uh, of that here, but you have to specify the placeholder and then you have to insert it with the format fun uh, function. Um, and because of all, all of those things here that I mentioned, uh, Python introduced the so called F string, which is this video, which is what this video is about the F string. And I use the F string quite often in my tutorial. So if you watch the AI, uh, the AI projects or the networking projects, you've probably seen um, uh, that I use the F string quite often. And the F string is essentially quite simple. The only thing that you need to do is you need to type the letter F before you start a string. And then you use the uh, quotation marks, either the double quotation marks or the single quotation marks. And by using that structure here, you have defined the string as an F string, which is a formatted string, so to say. 
And what we do here is we just say, hello, my name is, and we use again, curly brackets, but this time we don't have to use a format function at the end, but we can write our Python code directly. So inside of those curly brackets, all we write is Python code. So I can just say name and I can go ahead and I am H years old. We don't need any function, any percentage sign, any type casting, any specification of uh, the data type, we can write the values directly into the string, just by using curly brackets. And of course, we cannot only pass values, we can pass Python code. So I'm going to do something that's not really uh, intelligent or useful, but I'm going to say, okay, if the age is, uh, for example, if uh, age is divisible by two, I'm going to just print the age and otherwise I'm going to print something else, for example, I don't know, seven doesn't make sense. It's very stupid. But I just want to show you that this is a piece of code and it works in a string. So I can just go ahead and I get seven because of course, 25 is not even if the age is 24, I will get 24. Uh, it doesn't make sense to do that with the age. But this is what we can do here. Um, because we can actually pass real code inside of those brackets. Now we can also do the same thing most of the time in the format function. Uh, but we can actually do this right inside of the string. We don't have to think uh, about what did I have to, uh, or what did I want to insert inside of those square brackets that I defined in those placeholders. I can just go ahead and write uh, the code directly inside of those placeholders. Um, and one thing that we can do with uh, the specification of the of the data type up here is, for example, let's just add a new variable here. For example, my favorite number, again, doesn't make sense. But let's say it's a floating point number 19 point whatever. Um, and I have this number here, and I want to print the favorite number. If I have hello, my name is, and I specify the data types here, I can just say my favorite number is and I can specify a floating point number. So percent dot to f for example and then i say my favorite number and when i print this you can see that it cuts off the digits because of course it's 2f and uh, the question is can i do this with f strings as well and yes we can do that with f strings even though we ha don't have to specify the data type we can specify a format so i can say my favorite number is and here i can specify the placeholder and say my favorite number. And of course, if I do it just like that, you know, um, I get the full number. But if I say colon dot uh, to f, I get the same format as when I do this here. So as you can see, f strings are a very uh, intuitive and new and modern way to format strings in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, feel free to add any suggestions if you're interested in a particular Python trick or tip or uh, something that fits into this playlist, leave it in the comment section down below. Uh, maybe I can make a video about it if it's interesting and if it's useful to the audience. So if you have any questions or ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.